Hello friends, it's me again, and in today's topic I'm going to explain logical operators in PHP. There's three, AND, OR, NOT. They're used to combine conditional statements. For example, if we have an IF statement, we check a condition. Using these logical operators, we can check more than one condition if using AND. If that were OR, we can check if at least one condition is true. With the case with NOT, we can reverse a condition. If it's true, it's now false. If it's false, it's now true. More on that later. We can make our conditional statements a little more sophisticated with logical operators. Here's an example. We have a temperature. We would like to check to see if our temperature falls within a certain range. Let's say we have variable temp short for temperature. This will be in Celsius because most of my viewers are from outside of the United States. In the United States, we use Fahrenheit, but use whatever works for you. Let's say the temperature is 25 degrees Celsius. Let's write an if statement to check to see if our temperature falls within a certain range. If temp is greater than or equal to zero, we'll start with one condition. Then let's echo the weather is good. Our temp is 25, 25 degrees Celsius. The weather is good. What if my temperature was 100 degrees Celsius? Well, the weather is obviously not good, right? In fact, the weather is horrible. To make sure our temperature isn't above a certain number, we can use the AND logical operator, which is a double ampersand. If our temperature is equal to or above zero, AND, our temperature is less than or equal to 30, 30 degrees Celsius, then the weather is good. This statement is true, but this one is false. With the AND logical operator, both conditions must be true in order for us to execute this statement. Otherwise, let's add an else clause. Else, echo, the weather is bad. So 100 degrees Celsius, that is not a good temperature. The weather is bad. What about negative 10? Negative 10 degrees Celsius. Well, the weather is still bad. 15? The weather is good. 15 falls within our range. 15 is greater than or equal to 0, and 15 is less than or equal to 30. Now, using the OR logical operator, which is two vertical bars, at least one of these conditions needs to be true. If we're writing the same program using the OR logical operator, this is what I would change. Let's say if temp is less than zero, or temp is greater than 30, then the weather is bad, else the weather is good. Let's change temp to negative 1 million. Well, the weather is bad. If our temperature was positive 1 million, I believe that's actually 100 million, uh, well, the weather is obviously bad as well. If our temperature is 25, then the weather is good. With our temperature being this high, this statement is false, but this one is true. Using the OR logical operator, only one of these conditions needs to be true. That's another way in which you can write conditions. You could use the OR logical operator. Use whatever is best for your situation. Okay, let's set temp to something reasonable like 15. All right, now I'm going to discuss the NOT logical operator. Let's add a variable cloudy. This will be a Boolean variable. It's either true or false. Let's set that to be true. The temperature is 15 degrees Celsius, and the sky is cloudy. That's set to true. Using an if statement, if we're checking a Boolean variable, we could write cloudy is equal to true. But if we're working with Booleans, we can just shorten this to if the Boolean variable name. That's valid. If it's cloudy, let's echo. It's cloudy, else 
Echo. It's sunny. Um, let me add one line break. Line break. Line break. And I think we're good. The weather is good. It's cloudy. Using the not logical operator, we can precede our condition with an exclamation point. If this condition is true, the not logical operator will reverse it essentially. So if not cloudy, that means it's sunny. Else, it's cloudy. So it's cloudy. I will change cloudy to be false. It's now sunny. That's basically the not logical operator. It will reverse the state of your condition, meaning you can check to see if something is not true. Let's go over some practice. In this example, let's say that your country has elections. Let's assume that it's a democratic nation. In many countries, you have to be 18 years or older to vote, right? I'm assuming. Maybe we have variable age. Set this equal to whatever your age is. Let's say that I'm 25 this time. And we have a Boolean variable named citizen. And I will set that to be true. We're going to use the AND logical operator to see if we can vote. So with an if statement, if variable age is greater than or equal to 18, I'm in the United States. In order to vote, you have to be at least 18 years old. If we're at least 18 years old, and we're a US citizen, citizen, then let's echo, you can vote. In my example, I'm 25, I'm a citizen, both these conditions are true, that means I can vote. Else, if one of these statements wasn't true, then let's echo, you cannot vote. Let's say that I am 12, 12 years old. Well, I cannot vote. I'm too young. Or if I was not a citizen, citizen is false. Well, I cannot vote either. Another way in which you could write this program is you could say, this is a little more complex, by the way. If age is not greater than or equal to 18, or you are not a citizen, then you cannot vote, else you can vote. I'm 18, but I'm not a citizen. I cannot vote. I'm 18, but I am a citizen. You can vote. I would probably stick with the previous example just because it's easier to read. But this is another way in which we can use the not logical operator and the or logical operator. Let's go over a last example, just so that we really get the hang of this. We're going to sell movie tickets. We will have some Boolean variables. We'll have a child variable. I will set that to be false to begin with. A senior, I will set that to be false. Then a ticket price, which I will set to be null to begin with. If somebody's a child or a senior, they get a discount. If child or senior, then the ticket price will be uh, maybe $10. Else, ticket equals $15. That's quite a steep discount. Then at the end of our program, let's echo. The ticket price is, I'll add a placeholder, add variable ticket, pick a unit of currency, I'll pick American dollars. Child is set to false, we're not a child, that's set to false, we're not a senior, that's set to false. The ticket price is $15, the standard. This is false, or this is false, that means we don't execute the statement. We move on to the else statement. If we were a child, let's set that to be true, then we get that discount. The ticket price is $10. If we set child to be false, but we're a senior, I'll set that to be true. We still get that discount. All right, everybody. Point being with logical operators, there's many different ways in which we can check conditions. 
There's and or not. Use whatever is best for your situation. Typically, there's more than one way in which you can check a condition. Well, everybody, those are logical operators in PHP.